Um, speaking of sadness, holy George Carl. I mean. What is going on? First, what did I tell you guys? Right, right. You did, you did. It, Izzy did uh, boldly say that he hoped and thought he would really like George Carl, and then he met him and didn't, and found him to be not nearly as smart and aware as he would be expecting Somebody that's as a coach that's, yeah, as a successful coach. And um, So George Carl, not only are more and more things coming out from this book that he wrote, but he went and did an interview and then picked a new target, started ranting again about somebody who he's never coached, who's not on his team, and Damian Lillard, and it's just this piling up. And at this point, it's, it's what's the goal here? The book, obviously, you want to sell, but how much money are you going to make off that? And is it worth the, your legacy, how people view you, the, the relationship you may have had with players or coaches? Um, it's just really odd the lengths to which he seems to be going to trash the league, trash players. Cantankerous is the word that comes to mind, right? Right. He just but it's like he's flipped the no switch, reason. right? I mean, maybe, and maybe he's annoyed for a reason. Right. But it's still, and even if you're naming your book "Furious George," and that makes it very clear that you're going to do, uh, a, you know, a torch and burn of everything that you've ever touched. Yeah. I still think, you know, Damian Lillard, for instance, you know, not only is he trashing a guy who he's never coached, but Terry Stott, who is Damian Lillard's coach. You know, that's a guy who considers George Carl his coaching mentor, right. who he worked with for many years. So you're now going to trash that relationship that would be presumably a good one. 